Bottles, knocking models. Bottles, knocking models. Bottles, knocking models. I, I, I want to bump a beat that goes. Like, uh, 3 0 today. 3 0. Yeah, um, defensively, we look unstoppable at the moment. We do. It's a kiss of death, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A um, couple of players on four yellow cards might play into it, but I know, know Andy Butler will say play your own game. Yeah. We've got players stepping if we do get suspension. Yeah. Um, we just need a little bit more going forward, get an early goal. You know, it, it could be two or three. Yeah. You know. I'm reckoning, I'll say it now, I reckon 2 1. My old favourite. <laughs> I just, yeah, yeah, his old favourite. I just think that, you know, I think maybe expectation is there for a nil. But yeah. I just think we've, we've got to concede a goal at some point. Uh, yeah, we've, we've had a little bit of luck in front of the goal. A little bit, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> at, at the back. Yeah. Um, obviously, Fitzsimmons has made a couple of good saves. Yeah. But make your own look at me for yeah, today. Of course you do. The regular face on it. What do you reckon, Charlie, yeah. today against Warrington? I want to go 4 0. Danny White all two. Uh, Carlton with one and Alfie Beeston with yeah. one. Yeah. Feeling confident then? Yeah, hopefully. Okay, well, fingers crossed we score yeah. four. Yeah, Enjoy hope. the game. Thank you. Cheers. You okay, I've now got Max, Archie, and Ruby with me. What do you reckon today against two Warrington? 2 0. 2 0. 3. Three nil. I'm also going three nil. Danny White O two, then boys. Yeah. So you're feeling confident? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, enjoy the game. You too. Right. I've got Ryan with me. What do you reckon about today, mate? Uh, two nil. Iron. Yeah. Feeling confident. Yeah. Buoyant. We're gonna win. Um, I'm off of a Carlton new band though. And you said his name. Boise. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Cheers for that, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay, I've got Lucas with me, I've got Tommy with me, and I've got Joel with me, all Warrington Town fans. Yep. How are you doing, lads? Good. Good. What do you reckon today? 2-1 Warrington. Yeah. 6-0 scum 4. 3-1 scum 4. Yeah. I think, I think we're going to win 2-1. I think you're going to score. I think we're going to win 2-1. But, well, I hope you enjoy the game. You too. And I hope you have a good trip back. Nice one, enjoy. Thank you. Okay, I've got George with me now, Scunthorpe fan. What do you reckon today, mate? 4 0 Scunny. Feeling really confident? Yeah. Yeah. Any goal scorers or just to win 4 0? 4 0. Right, no worries for that. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yep. Okay, I'm now with Liz with me. She's travelled over from Warrington today, but he's a Scunthorpe fan. Yes. So, what do you, what do you reckon today? I think we're going to win. Yeah. Uh, Scunthorpe's going to win and it's going to be 3 1. 3-1, feeling yeah. confident. Very confident. I think yeah. they're going to score as well. I've done 2-1. Have you? Yeah. I think I might be right though. Yeah. Well, I hope you're so right. So we're, we're, we're hoping we're right, yeah. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Have a good trip back. No problem. Cheers. Okay, I've got, I've got Jed with me. Hi, today Gareth. The football. Hi, How are you doing, mate? I'm all right, Gareth. Thank Good. You. You're looking well. Thank you, Gareth. Yeah, what do you reckon today? I'm going to go 3-0 to Scunny. Yeah. And I guess that I'm going to get the goals will probably come from midfield. Right, okay. So I think Beeston will probably just play yeah, in. Yeah. And probably Scales will probably get one as yeah. well. So I'm nice. going for them midfield goals. And perhaps a, a set piece goal as well. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah, not? That's fine. Why not? Cheers for that. Enjoy okay. the game. Okay. Thank you, Gareth. Yeah, thank thank you. you. See you later. Thanks, so, yeah, How are you feeling about today's game, Joe? Uh, I'm okay. My car's just decided to be broken on the way here, which is terrible. So I need cheering up. And I reckon it's going to be 2 0 today. It'll be a good match this one. Come on, the iron. Cheers, Joe. Okay, I've now got Thomas with me. How are you doing? Good. Good. What do you reckon today? What score? 3 0 Scunny. 3 0 Scunny. Feeling confident? Yeah. Yeah. Good. I hope you're right, mate. Enjoy the game. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, I've got Caden with me outside the Iron Bar about half an hour towards kickoff. What do you reckon today, mate? I'm going to go 3 2 towards. 3 2. You think they're going to score? Yeah, so do I. Come on, Jack, real quick. What do you reckon today? 2 0 win today. Um, uh, Danny Whitehall to get one. And. Um, Will Evans. Yeah? Let's hope you're right, mate. Yep. Enjoy. Yeah, I've got Mark and Stan with me as it starts to rain. What do you reckon today, lads? Um, I'm going for 3 0 to Scunny, 4 4 4 4, and there's going to be a revelation that the foot long hot dog is only 11 inches. <laughs> I'm off. 3 0 to Scunny, 4,400, and I'm not eating a hot dog because they're not a foot long. It's going to be out today, mate, I'm telling you. Scandal. Hit it here for the hell on. Okay, so back at Scunthorpe, our only home game this month is against Warrington Town. It's just started raining. Lovely stuff. Luckily, I've got a coat in the car. Um, I think it's going to be a tough game today. I said another podcast the other day, the Iron Hour podcast, that I think we'll win 2 1. 
Um, I just think that they're going to score. You know, I know we've played several games now and conceded one goal out of the seven. I think this eighth game, we're going to concede again. We can't go through the rest of the season without conceding. So I just feel that today's the day, unfortunately. But we're not going to lose. We're still going to win. Fingers crossed. I've got Elizabeth with me. What do you reckon we're going to do today? Win. Three or four nails. Yeah, you're feeling confident. Yep. Well, I hope you're right. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Yeah. I think we're going to win 2 1. I think they're going to score. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Cheers. Trust gone top. Thank you. We've changed ends, obviously, Warrington wants to change ends. Go on. Nice. In all fairness, they've done nothing for the first six minutes, and then when they did, that looks quite threatening. Um, you know, we've just got to be wary of him. I said, you know, I can see him scoring, and I can still see him scoring. Oh. That was a nice bit of play, that. You know, I've got a corner out of it. Nice. What a flick on by Barrows. He set that up. Just agonisingly wide. We're getting closer. We're getting wide. So they've had that chance in the sixth minute and often not much else really, they've had to defend. You know, we're trying to get that goal, we're pushing on them. Um, but yeah, it's just, it just feels like a matter of time really before we score. Have I just jinxed it? in the midfield when they get a chance as well, you know. Just unfortunately for them, there's a bit too much on that pass. Otherwise, we could have been in trouble there. But, you know, they're looking to get forward. Like, oh, that was another close goal. Did Scales have too much time then? You know, it might have been easier if he didn't have as much time just to hit it. I can try to pick his spot, but fair play to the keeper for coming out quick as he did. Well, I've seen better. I've also seen worse. Not much worse, but there we go. It's definitely not as easy as um, those predictions outside. They're, they're looking threatening going forward. And Woods in midfield for them, number seven. Seems to be running the show a bit. They are having a really good spell. Um, hopefully it's just like a flash in the pan type spell. But, you know, they do win games. They beat Kidderman's, like I said earlier. Great chance there for Nicholson, just got wide. But I think, you know, out of the two teams going at hard time, nil nil, which is looking likely, they are going to be by far the more positive about it, you know. So 
hopefully, you know, words have been out at half time. And we perform a bit better. A few people have said to me we've looked a bit slow, a bit lethargic, like there's something missing. And um, yeah, they could be right actually. Maybe they were expecting it to be a bit easier than it is. I don't know. But it's a big second half. Got to stick with our game plan. And hopefully it will come to fruition. But they've got, um, is it Rodwell Grant up top and Sitol and, you know, they're, they're maybe not the best looking forwards as in with a play, but they're physical, they're getting stuck in there, especially with Rodwell Grant, he's throwing players around, people bouncing off him. So, you know, let's see where we are in 60 minutes, let's see what subs we bring on. I'm, I'm thinking this is a tight Shrimpton type game, him in middle at the park, get him stuck in. Dixon for them as well, number 17. Um, you know, quite a tall player, middle of heart. Doing good things for them. Go on. Yeah! Get in! Get in there, it's a start we needed. Oh, beautiful. Ball's been put across. He's ended up with Whitehall finishing it, putting it in the net. I'm just, you know, picking it up, Warrington, but we needed that early goal. Get it. So, that's the start that we needed. Uh, you know, talking up Warrington and the players. And we go down, and a couple of minutes after kick off, and uh, scored a goal. Looks like it's deflected in off someone into Whitehall's shins and gone in, but we'll take it. Um, Let's hope we get another one at least. Oh, come on. Oh. So I've just spilled coffee down myself and I'm trying to clean it up. Warrington have just scored. Warrington goes for number 11, Ball put across, they've got on it. And um, one all as well. That's both goals I've missed now. Both goals in this game, unbelievable effort by me. This is going to be a real test of character for these players, you know, see where we're at. I know we're top of the league and, you know, six points clear before this game. But when there's a bit of adversity, it's how we deal with it, isn't it? That's a really nice play by Denton there, under a bit of pressure. Just to chest it back to Fitzsimmons. Foul on the edge of the box. Hopefully, it's a better free kick than last time. Go on. That was nice play. Just unfortunate about the end product. Um, you know, since they've scored, we have looked. Better. And they are taking every available second as you'd expect. Oh, referee! Whoa! Match attendance 4,432. Piss off! Not close enough to get stuck in, that's the issue. Go on! The only thing I'm hoping for in this last seven minutes or so, fatigue for Warrington. <laughs> but you know, they're looking good value for a point right now. Yeah, we're creating chances, we've missed chances. It's happened. We've done that before as well, but we've still got time. No 
Robert. Oh, it's got the crowd involved. Won't ram up at least. Great ball in. Come on, Jace. Come on, that's a bad ball. Oh, just have a shot, one of you. Oh, let's at times. Leave so much to be desired. Oh! What a ball. What a ball. Got to do something with it. No, I'm not. Warren's going to be more than happy with this point. Um, I don't think the Scunthorpe fans will be, but you know, it was always going to be a tough game for me. This, um, you know, we're not going to win every game one nil, two nil, three nil. We are going to concede goals, and I don't know why, but I just had a feeling this would be one of them. Back. Oh, oh, oh! Go on! No! Unbelievable! Come on now! Get it in! Oh my days, what's going on with? <laughs> um, what can you do? You know what I mean? I don't think there's anything more the players can do. It's, it's just the way it's going, you know. It's leaving a charm fly off that goal. <laughs> Good. That's it. Okay, so I've got Mark and Dave with me. What did you think after that game against Warrington? Uh, I was like, so I'm disappointed with the passing. Uh -huh. You know, between midfield and forwards, the passing just wasn't quite there as it has been in the last few weeks. But to me, you've got to give all credit to Warrington because they've come here and they've put the bodies on line in defence, the goalkeepers had a brilliant game. Yeah. And they, they look to me to be a well-organised side. And like I say, we've had six or seven good chances, the keepers saved them, but at the end of the day, we're still unbeaten. Yeah. Uh, and we're still topped by four points. So nothing to get upset about or anything like that. We're still there, and I was just so pleased there were no booing at the end. Because yeah. they're certainly still trying. Yeah, I. If you'd have said at the beginning of the season we was in this position, I'd have thought he was crazy. <laughs> Doing brilliant, I love it. I thought we lacked midfield today. Yeah. Uh, few wayward passes and things like that. But credit to the lads, like Mark said, they come here for a draw, nothing else. And credit and to the, them, they've they done well. They deserved the draw. Though. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah they, like you say, they put bodies on line. They did. The they is, there. I thought they had chances to win as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they did. They yeah. did have some so, good chances. Yeah. Obviously, we had more. Yeah. Because we're at home. But oh, we had loads of chances. It's just, but it's just we're win. not going to win every game. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said a few settled, weeks ago. Still unbeaten. Yeah. You know, end of story. So. Yeah. So well, we move on to the next one. Yeah, we do, mate. You've been golfing, haven't you? I have been three days to Portugal. Yeah. Portugal? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Algarve? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I flew back yesterday, but Thursday, went into Clubhouse about half four or whatever, and uh, went to get a drink, phone rung, so I picked it up. Hello, darling. How have you played? I said, oh, it's been one of the best rounds I've ever had. I shot an 80. Well, you are quite good. Well... I said, everything ate, went straight, every putt went in. So she said, oh, are you in a good mood then? I said, oh, I'm in a cracking mood, love, I'm in a cracking mood. She went, oh, well, I've been past that BMW dealership in Scunthorpe this morning. You know, I was talking about that convertible. 
can I put a deposit down on it? I says, of course you can, look. I said, tell you what, put 10 grand down on it and in two weeks time, we'll pay you the 40 grand. Of course you can have it, look. She went, oh, thanks, babe. So I put phone down, ordered some drinks, got them. Next thing, picked phone up and said, has anybody lost a phone? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Vienna! <laughs> I'm reckon, Ryan. Voice of reason. It's disappointing. Um, I didn't think we played as bad as some people are making out. Um, I thought we went to their level a little bit. There was too many long balls. There was too much too much panic. Um, mm -hmm. There was too many... I don't know what the obsession was with the diagonal balls. The long diagonal balls. It wasn't working. You could see it in the first ten minutes. So I don't know why we carried on doing that, but... Anyway, I, that was maybe the instruction from Butler, I don't know, but it seemed a bit odd to me. But if you'd have offered me at the start of the season and you'd have said six wins, two draws, zero losses, I'd have snapped my hand off. So a bit of perspective is needed. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've got a little bit of a break now. I thought we looked a bit leggy in that second half. We looked like, we looked like a team that had played eight games in just under a month. To be honest, yeah. Um, so I'll be pleased to get to a week off. Obviously, we've got the FA Cup next week, which is a bit of a distraction. Hopefully, we can beat them, um, and then obviously roll on Scarborough in a couple of weeks. Yeah, up the iron. Cheers, top of the Ryan. League. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. I think Ryan's right there about a bit of perspective. You know, we're we're all disappointed because we've drawn. <laughs> no, we've not lost. We're still unbeaten. We keep going. Still top of the league by four points. But yeah, we've drawn. So let's keep calm. Let's keep going forward. Okay, so I've got Jack. We've got Harry. We've got Tom. Hello. What do you want to say, everybody? <clears throat> Who wants to go first? Go on, Abby. Very, on, Jack. very disappointing. <laughs> to list. Um, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. We're not going to win every game like we all strong? spoke about it. <laughs> no, that's Gary. <laughs> who's, who, who's next? Go on, wait, let's this. Go on. Go on. Are you coming on, Tom? Go on. Yeah, go on. Um, I thought it was uh, good in the end. I thought it was quite unlucky to not get the old three points, but I must say, I thought their 17 was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh, in, in, in the mid in the midfield today, Dixon, yeah. uh, but at the end of the day, we're top of the league. And if someone offered me this in August, I'd have snapped their hand off. So yeah. uh, I think we're all right. And we go on to New uh, Newcastle uh, Town. Is it? Yeah, Newcastle Town. That's actually in Stoke uh, yeah. ne next week. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Go on, Harry. All yours. Go on, Harry. <laughs> yeah. Echo, echo what these two lovely gentlemen have said. Oh, thank um, you. I Make think, out. like you say, before the season, if someone had offered us where we are now. You'd um, you'd snap the hand off. So yeah. we've got to take that. I thought we played all right today. <laughs> On another day, we win comfortably, um, but it wasn't to be. Yeah. So, but we keep marching on up the iron. Scarborough away next. Yes, in the league. Yeah, come on, come on, definitely. Cheers, everybody. Up the iron. Up the iron. Up the iron. <laughs> up the iron. <laughs>